The stakes are high here at the Stoop. Harlequins versus Gloucester Hartbury. The winner of today's match will be in the playoff position come the close of play. So let's have a look at the teams and how they line up, starting with the hosts, Harlequins. It's a lot more familiar for Gloucester Hartbury. Lund moves from outside to inside centre, and Ellie Underwood switches from the right to the left wing. Lucy Packer tapping and going, and Quinn's forwards lining up for the carries. Chloe Edwards. Quinn's back to within five metres. There's Galligan. Gloucester Hartbury committing bodies to the breakdown. Again, nobody to the right hand side. This is not going wide, but it's very close for Quinn's. Ian Kay says it's short. Not this time, though. Harlequin strike first. They take advantage of the early territory, and that's a great start for the home team. I'd be surprised if Connie Powell tries to get herself in the armchair to add to her seven tries this season. And there she goes, it's well taken, and this is strong and efficient from Gloucester Hartbury. It's started to slow down. Watch Powell at the back as it's going again. Mo Hunt's looking for it, searching for it, but it's still moving for Gloucester Hartbury. It's around the line, it's over the line, and Gloucester Hartbury dot down through Powell and their first journey into the Quinns 22 yields five points so Amy Kikane first job find the jumper does exactly that and now the ball is called and the momentum with Harlequins already Kikane has the ball in hand marching towards the Gloucester Harbury line Amy Kikane over the line and Quinns back ahead yeah great work there I think that's um, true Harlequins fashion driving ball we love it Kakane in at first receiver, it's slow ball, and she loves a carry here, gets over the gain line. And it comes, there could be some space, and Sarah Beckett, oh what a tackle that is. But there are so many numbers here for Harlequins, and it is a third try, it's Langi Chuima with her first try of the season. Extending the lead just before half time, and it's breathing space for Quinns. Try threat herself, Lee Jones, top scorer in the All Ireland League before coming over to Gloucester Hartbury. But Quinn's gathering the ball, looking for that bonus point try, going towards the Gloucester Hartbury line, over the Gloucester Hartbury line. The bonus point in the bag. Okay, ball's in the, ball's in the back, use it. No, Bianca Blackburn. Are we going to see some width here? Here's George taking it to the line comes out of the back Singh waits but instead around the outside is Hannah Jones who gets dragged down by Mayhew then Blackburn for the line it's been coming for Gloucester Hartbrook and Bianca Blackburn gets the reward it's their second try of the match their first try of the second half I'll say it's to get the likes to be two from two from the tee that one drifts across the face of the posts and the full-time whistle goes. Harlequins back to winning ways into third place in the table. And finally, a little bit of breathing room between them and the chasing pack as they bid to go back to back in the Allianz Premier 15s. Full-time here at the Stoop. It's four tries to two. Harlequins 26, Gloucester Hartbury 12.